Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Fix That Engineer where today I have to make it, I have to admit, I've been super lazy. I've been busy. I've been busy, which which means it looks like I've been lazy. I've got five builders that are not doing anything and I've got a laboratory that is also not doing anything and I've got no loot. I've literally got like no loot. I don't know what's going to happen today, to be honest. I mean, I guess we should just do some raids and decide what we're going to do later. So, the, yeah, this is weird. It's a weird day. All right. I'm sorry. Just forgive me, please. Please forgive me. All right. So let's go with the, with the raid. I've got my miners. Um, obviously, um, you know, dark elixir for the miners. But also, since I need everything, I should probably try to find a, a base that I think I can take that has kind of everything. I don't know. I need elixir because I need to upgrade my warden. I don't know, guys. This is just a weird day. It's just a weird day for me. But we'll figure it out. We're going to get it done. We're going to figure it out together. Ooh, that's that's a good one. Okay. All right. This is a good one. 6,000 dark elixir, 650,000 regular elixir, 777,000 gold. That's pretty solid. And if we can take out like the eagle really quickly, then we should be okay, I think. So let's make sure the warden's on ground. All right. And I've got two extra barbarians for some reason. Why? I don't know. Are there any corner huts maybe? No? Okay. Well, um, miners, let's start funneling you guys in. All right. There you go. All right. So let's get the uh, queen on this side. Let's get the king on this side. And boom. Early warden ability for the, in for the what is that called? The eagle artillery. Yeah. Heal over this. Pop that king's ability. Heal over... Oh, haha. <laughs> they got too close. I love it. Nice. They got too close and um, they the, the eagle was not able to shoot them. That is awesome. All right. So, heals all the way through the core. I'm a little concerned about this section. That is a very strong wizard tower. And, oh, no. Now we have a, in, of a stupid skeleton trap. All right. Let's heal up right there. This side's looking good, though. I think we're going to be okay. I think that, if anything, the attack will swing around, you know, clockwise. So, Queen, just don't die. Just don't die on me, babe, all right? Just don't. Um, let's go, uh, let's go. Oh! I said don't die on me! What are you, what are you thinking right now? All right, let's seal that. And let's get a couple barbarians out here just to tighten up the funnel. Stupid archer towers, why would you do that? But I think this is going to be okay. I think this is going to be a three-star. Nice! That was a lot of loot. I needed it. I needed a lot of loot. So, that makes me feel better. Um, a lot better, to be honest. So, um, so yeah, there's a three star, 100%, 26 trophies. And with, oh man, that is good stuff. That is good stuff, guys. Great loot. Great loot. All right, so I've got Barch. I've got Barch. Uh, okay, okay, I, I think I vaguely remember this. I noticed, oh, I need Elixir. I'm going to use a couple of Barch attacks in between episodes and then have Elixir to upgrade maybe the Warden or something. That makes logical sense until you get too busy and you can't do it. Now we have a barge attack, which is not terrible. There's just not a lot of dead bases that are good in, in Master League. Or like it's decent. There's, there's a decent amount. But before we get into that, guys, let's check out this um, not this defense. Let's check out this replay. 3,000 Dark Elixir. Super easy, super efficient. Um, and actually, ooh, check this out. This is wall wrecker time. You don't see very often wall wreckers. Um, I think, if I remember right, this isn't a three-star because there's a Brutal CC, I think. I don't know. Yeah, Brutal CC. Oh! All right, let this be a lesson to you as to what not to do because that is a CC of death. The max balloons do so much damage to a minor attack, especially because I've only got one poison, right? So I can't, like, keep them all the, the balloons under poison the entire time. I'm trying my best to keep things healed up. I did get the dark elixir out of the storage, but I'm not even gonna be able to get that town hall down. There's too many skeleton traps. The balloons are one-shotting my poor balloon, my poor miners. Look at that. Just it's just death and destruction nonstop. It's terrible. So 3,000 dark elixir though. That's pretty good, but definitely not the results we wanted. Do your very best in your attacks, ladies and gentlemen. To be careful of Klein Castle troops, especially because I didn't have my queen. Like, that's the biggest problem. I didn't have my queen. If I had my queen and she was driving behind the wall wrecker, then she would have shot the balloons and it would have worked out great. But unfortunately, I didn't have my queen. 
And that's never good. That's just never good. So, um, all right, let's try to go find a good barch base. Um, you guys know it. You guys have seen it a million times. I did a lot of barch at the beginning of this series, trying to find bases that are pr pretty much dead bases, uh, bases with full collectors and mines. Um, you're not going to be able to, you know, very uh, effectively dive into cores of bases. You have to find bases that's loot is mostly on the outside. So like this one, that's pretty fast. That was a pretty quick search. It's not even a dead, it's not even a fully dead Tunnel 11. Like one of the Infernos is dead, but not the other and not the Eagle. So interesting stuff, interesting stuff. All right, so here's what we'll do. We will, um, it looks like the loot is actually pretty one-sided. So here's what we'll do. We're going to drop our... Barbarians on this side, but I want to mostly get the archers into here because I want the archers to get the dark elixir out of that drill So go archers go archers. You got this Come on. There we go. Nice. All right, so that that gold we're not gonna be able to get that gold um, Let's go ahead and snipe this elixir too So once we get that done then the rest of the barbarians and archers can just kind of go down We're definitely not gonna win the attack by the way Definitely not going to gain trophies. We're probably going to lose trophies if we're just going to be honest with ourselves. But that's not the priority right now. The priority is just more loot. <laughs> that's pretty much the only priority right now. So there we go. Barbarians and archers. The barch thrown down. Looks good so far. Looks like we're going to miss out on a little bit of the gold. But we got pretty much all the elixir. That's really, really great. That's really, really great. Um... Huh, actually it's looking like it's a possible... Ooh, that'd be cool if this eagle died, like mid-shot. Go, eagle. Just try it. Try your best. Do your worst. Try your best and do your worst. Are you ever going to shoot? Like, what the heck? What's the deal? I'm so confused right now. Why isn't that eagle shooting? That is so weird. That was really weird. All right, well, hey, at, at this point, look at this. This Grand Warden is going to be able to... Uh, be deployed and snipe some dark elixir. So that is awesome. And I'm really confused about this eagle <laughs> It's like it doesn't have enough ammunition to shoot, but it's got enough ammunition to not look dead Like that's what it looks like right now So weird so weird anyhow So the uh, the warden will get in there and will take out that dark elixir in the storage Hopefully he doesn't try to go for the Tesla. I think the Tesla can hit him. No wait I think he can snipe a Tesla Look at this stupid eagle. That's the dumbest eagle artillery I have ever seen in my life. Just shoot something, dude. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, we're just going to let this uh, warden. If, if that eagle was shooting, that warden would have died a long time ago. But no, he's going to be able to shoot. He's going to take about 50 dark elixir per shot. And he's got plenty of time. He's got plenty of time. Do we have plenty of time? I guess we do. water get some get some dark elixir i'm still so confused by this eagle i know I, I mean i deployed enough troops for it to actually be activated it's just i think it's a glitch or something i'm i don't know man i don't know weird if you know what's going on with that eagle in the comments let me know i will definitely read your comments and i will definitely test your theories and stuff but that was just weird so is this, uh, oh yeah, this guy's definitely not going to get the 50%, but hey, hey, it's all good. It's all good. We got a lot of extra dark elixir, way more than I ever expected to get. So that was awesome. And I didn't even need his eternal tome, which was kind of nice. So we did lose the attack, no loot bonus, but we did have still half a million elixir. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. So we are now at a crossroad. Okay, we're at a crossroad where we decide, are we going to spend metals to get loot or are we just going to make it work? All right, let's hop into our progress base and make a little decision making. All right, first things first, the laboratory. I think the last thing we did was the free spell and I would like to do another one. So we need a little bit more elixir. So let's pop in and grab some elixir using the clan metals. I've got about 400 left. I've tried to save them as long as I can. So let's upgrade this free spell, four and a half Four and a half day upgrade, four million elixir in three, two, one, bam. There we go. And um, now definitely don't have enough elixir for the warden. That's fine. So now let's get some dark elixir and spend it. All right. So let's upgrade this. Uh, let's upgrade this queen. 131,000 dark elixir, a five day upgrade, level 29. Really no benefits at level 29. I mean, you're gaining eight damage per second, 27 hit points, big 
freaking deal. But we're getting closer to yet another Royal Cloak ability, and that will be nice. And at level 30, we'll finally be considered Max Town Hall 9 uh, Queen, even though we're Town Hall 11. So let's upgrade this guy's 131,000 Dark Elixir in 3, 2, 1, bam. Nice. And I've actually got a Book of Heroes. Why not use it? I guess. I mean, it, it doesn't hurt. She always helps with getting extra loot at the end of the, uh, the raids anyway. Yeah, let's use it. Three, two, one. Bam. Nice. All right, so now I've still got... Oh, I've still got five builders. Okay. Well, fortunately, everything is pretty cheap. <laughs> so I can probably upgrade quite a few things. I've got... I mean, look at that. I've got six cannons, all 400,000 gold. So that's kind of cool. It's a day and a half. So I'm going to have... I'm going to... Literally, I'm going to have five builders that are doing... Five cannons. That's kind of funny. That's cool. I'm down with that. Alright, let's do this. Let's upgrade all these. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Set. Okay, that's weird. So, it, it was saying upgrade this cannon. Because the upgrade is only uh, 400,000 gold. But now it's suggesting that I upgrade the mortars. That is really weird. Alright, well, let's upgrade these mortars, I guess. There we go. There we go, there we go, and there we go. All right, well, that went a little weird, but hey, again, following the cheapest upgrade suggestion, all five builders have now been used and are being are, are being used. That's great. So in a day and a half, I will have all five builders available again, and hopefully I have more loot to spend. So, yeah, I, I guess that is going to have to do it for today. And thank you all so much for tuning in. Like the video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And also, just a real quick recap of what I've got going on. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All the links to those social media platforms are down below in the description. I've also got a public Discord server. Highly recommend that you check that out. Links in the description. Um, join my clan, a trophy push, uh, Knights of Zion. We would love to have you. As long as you have more trophies than our bottom guy, we'll take you. Also, we have Patreon, where we have a lot of awesome stuff going on, lots of awesome perks that I want to give you. All you have to do is, once again, check out the link in the description. That's all for me. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.